uh, your hard work pay off and you start to realize that what you're doing and mm -hmm. and uh, you know what you're devoting yourself to mm -hmm. in, a, in this career choice is finally starting to to pay off when you see yourself on screen you remember why you are doing this um, another reason it's such a surreal feeling is because when you see yourself on screen uh, you're perception of yourself is very biased and objective mm -hmm. you try to pick and, and pry at your performance and you know your looks and you just you dwell on these these uh, flaws that you think you might have that no one else would see or notice but uh, you do because you're trying to uh, you know think of something wrong yeah. is that not that's an, true no, yeah? I agree with you it's true you, you, you judge yourself way you're too easily you're really critical on, on whatever you do yeah that's, that's very true and I think that goes for everyone yeah, I mean, if any of you have ever had any type of experience with that, just you know, maybe even putting yourself on film at all, uh, and you and you watch it, you get a little insecure and skittish because you know seeing yourself is very awkward <laughs> until you get used to it. I mean, now, yeah, you get used to it. Now, now I can watch whatever; it doesn't matter. All right, can you both smile for me, please? All right, hold on. Look away. This is how it's gonna go down. One. All right, one, right. one. Are two. we smiling at each other? Or no, we're going to smile at the screen. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> I like cool. that. All right, cool. All right. <clears throat> Cameron, are you still dating Caitlin? No, we broke up. <laughs> Why are you going to laugh at that, bro? <laughs> Sorry. You're going to laugh at me. Okay. Um, here we go. Is that you? Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Do you like Thirty Seconds to Mars? Do you like? 30 I like Thirty Seconds to Mars. I think there is. Do I have any Thirty Seconds to Mars on my iTunes? You Let better. me check. Hold on. Let me check here. Thirty seconds. I have yeah. one song. That sounds good too. What if I wanted to break? That's awesome. <laughs> I do enjoy 30 Seconds to Mars as well. They're a good, a good mm -hmm. band, I'd say. <clears throat> okay, this question's for Cody. This is from Kayla Powell. I believe that's how you say your name. What's your favorite movie, Cody? Oh, gosh. My favorite movie. <sighs> I... It's hard for me to answer questions like this because, uh, you know, favorite foods, favorite colors, favorite movies, I, I don't, I can't say I have a favorite. I enjoy way too many to pick a favorite. Um, if I had to choose a movie that I enjoy the most, I would probably pick, um, I'd probably pick Friday Night Lights. Hmm. It's a, uh, a movie based on, what is it? I can't remember the football team. <laughs> I don't know. The Panthers. Um, it's you know it's a uh, it's a movie about a high school football team, and uh, the show for a while. No, it was the movie before it went to the, okay. the, the series. Gotcha. But the movie I used to play football, and uh, if I wasn't doing acting, mm -hmm. that's probably what I would be doing right now. Was playing football in hopes to get a scholarship to go to college. Um, so I'm very that football experience is very close to my heart. So every time I watch it, I can connect to the movie. Um, on an, another level, <laughs> so I love if I had, yeah, if I had to pick right. a favorite movie, um, Friday Night Lights. Um, some other of my favorites I like recently, Training Day. Shout out to Denzel mm -hmm. Washington. That's, right. That's one of my favorite my movies. Uh, Seven, Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman's one of my favorites. Uh, I have a lot of favorites, so I enjoy uh, I enjoy everything, any type of movie. Why is this keep going this way? No. Okay, let me get one. Was it? No, it's to you now. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. You favorited that? <clears throat> yeah, hold on. Oh, hold on. Um, this is just a shout out. Um, someone tweeted me earlier. Uh, she asked me to follow her. She said it'd mean the world to her, or a tweet, so I figured I would shout her out instead. This is to Emily Tweedy Cole. Um, thank you for your support and much love. We appreciate it. I was just, um, this was just brought up to me, but 
Yes, thank you so much for your support. Uh, we appreciate everything. Let me. Uh, this is a good question. This is coming from again. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's coming from at Victoria Yos. Yos Yas. Mm -hmm. uh, I find this to be very funny. <laughs> wet the toothbrush or brush dry with the toothpaste, Cameron. I wet the toothbrush <laughs> every time. I wet the toothpaste. As do I. You know. As do I. I put my toothpaste on my toothbrush, wet it, and then I, then I brush my teeth. You can go dry. I've I've, I've done dry toothpaste before though. Uh, it just it's not cool. Doesn't seem right. Yolo, <clears throat> you know. Shout out. Just to so Drake. you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to just Drake. So Honestly, know. hold on, hold on. Drake, I don't know if you would ever see this. Um, hopefully one day I get to to where I want to be in this industry. Um, mm -hmm. I do want to have a sit down lunch with you. I respect you on so many levels, and you are honestly one of the few rappers that I actually listen to nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually hear what you're saying. True so, that. mad shout out to Drake. Keep doing your thing, and hopefully one day we'll be uh, having lunch somewhere discussing, you know, anything about life. I guess. That's right. So, but Yolo. <laughs> That saying gets a little old. Yeah, we need to. We need to. It's anyone like people use excuses to do stupid things. That, then they use YOLO. They're like, Yeah, I'm with you on that one, actually, man. We need to. Uh, we need to limit the use of that phrase. Um, so can we just think of something else? Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Okay. Next question. Um, Wait, you can get to. Uh, this is from Ari Harding B26. Cody, do you like red velvet cupcakes? Oh my gosh. I think I just died and went to heaven. I love red velvet cupcakes. I love, I think the best thing I've ever had is a red velvet pancake with like the icing on the, um, the pancake itself. It was phenomenal. I loved it. I love, I loved red velvet. Um, my wife in the future will know how to make <laughs> red velvet cupcakes. Yeah, that's right. Um, I absolutely, absolutely love them. I, you, there would never be a chance that I will turn down a red, a red velvet, velvet cupcake. cupcake. So, <clears throat> said I got two. Where's my other one? Okay. Um, <laughs> would you ever want to direct a movie slash show? And did people doubt you when you told them you wanted to become an actor? Um, let me address that first question. Do I ever want to direct a movie or a show? Honestly, I enjoy being in front of the camera, not behind the camera. Um, I'm sure eventually, you know, someday I mm -hmm. might want to just to experience um, the industry in a different perspective than what I am now. As of right now, I have no interest in it. I don't want to go to film school. I don't want to do anything to learn about directing. Um, I like being in front of the camera. I think you know, directing takes an immense amount of skill and talent that uh, a lot of people overlook. And I can tell you right now, I'm not ready for that. I um, I enjoy being in the moment with what I do as an actor. And uh, you know, directors they uh, they pretty much make everything come to life. They are responsible for movie magic, mm -hmm. and I am not up to that task yet. Eventually, one day, I would like to, but not right now. Uh, and the second part of that question, did people doubt me? <laughs> yes, they did, actually. Um, I, I grew up in a small town in Indiana, uh, Franklin, Indiana. Shout out to anyone back there that could possibly be watching this. Um, when I first told everybody that I was interested in acting, and uh, when I first told them that I wanted to come out to California and pursue my dream in uh, establishing a career for myself, a lot of people didn't take me seriously. A lot of people uh, mocked me. A lot of people didn't believe that I was capable of doing it. Haters. Haters. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. But um, I am living, breathing proof, I would say we both are, that G dreams are achievable. You just, uh, as long as you want to do it more than anything else in in this world, you can, you can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And this isn't some cheesy high school pep rally dare person saying, "Hey."